you getting the education from my YouTube channel and then supporting me by ordering from me keeps me in business. So that's why I say, you know, order from where you love and where you learn so that they can continue doing what they're doing. And that would be you supporting me. And I, I appreciate that. I would really appreciate that. And thank you for all those that have ordered from me. Uh, you learn from me and then why not get the tools that we use and you'll have exactly what I use and you'll be able to do the same processes. So, And then we create a friendship. So we stay in touch and I got people sending me uh, Facebook messages, you know, before and afters and I, I just uh, feel the love, y'all. I just feel the love. So thank you. So anyway, something you might run into on the Cocker Spaniel being a puppy, you may find there's some nipping. Personally, I've worked with many aggressive dogs and it starts off as a puppy. So it's just how we train that dog to allow us to do a good leadership and do good, the services that we need to do on that dog, right? We need to train them to accept it. So I would pop the nose. I would pop the nose and be like, no, right? I would also have whatever treat I wanted to pick. And I would say peanut butter, but come on, we're grooming. So you don't want to make it messy, right? Around the mouth and all that. So something that they love if they're a puppy, okay? And you you see, do I have to use treats at my salon? No, but if it's a puppy re repeatedly doing bad behavior during a groom, go ahead and have a tool, which is food. There's two tools you're gonna use, food and then love. And that love comes right after the food because eventually you want the food to be gone. You want the love to, the way you love that dog, the dog understands to listen. So let's just say you're brushing me, right? So you're brushing me and I'm biting. This is so silly. I'm, and I'm biting, like, I'm biting. So pop the nose, no. Like, immediately, no. Pop the nose, no. And then you're doing something good. You're brushing the dog, and the dog's reacting good, like, sitting there. And you want to just not be brushing its head. You want to be, like, move around the dog, brush the whole dog, be effective, and be done, right? They have a three minute, I have found, they have three minutes to get annoyed. So... You can buy yourself three minutes by going fast. And that's why most of my videos are very to the point. Get in there, get out, and then everyone can just relax, have fun. So use a brush to brush, use a comb to check, always check. I'm a groomer, I've been doing this over 13 years. I still check myself. We are human, we make mistakes. So check your own work. Brush does all the work, the comb doesn't lie. Have your dog sitting there, have a groom loop or a lead or something where this is work, this is not play. And not like correcting, just write it neutral. Brush, use a treat. They don't have to eat the treat. They can lick the treat, the same treat. Lick, lick, put it down, brush. And you're complimenting the treat and then love. Good, good boy, you know, good girl like that. So treat, they smell and lick it. Top it off with love good girl, good boy, and then continue brushing. And you want to keep doing that repetitively until the dog is like, yeah, I like brush time. So try that out. And this video is probably too long. It, I got interrupted by phone calls. So two videos on this, go watch the first one. This is the second one. This is for Stella 115 <laughs> who left a comment on one of my videos about how to brush her Cocker Spaniel who moves around a lot. So let me know. I want before and afters. Um, I would brush three to five minutes a day until there's no nipping or biting, until that dog is like at attention, brush, and done. I want to see it before and after. I would love to post that on my, my channel or at least get some reviews from you on that. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching my favorite groomer.com on YouTube.